Hello everyone, my brothers and I would like to thank you for watching our video in Windsor and posting some nice comments and God, God bless you all and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Welcome back to Mrs. Zoe Food Channel. So today's recipe is a very popular yogurt drink which originated from Senegal. In Senegal they call it chakri, but in Ivory Coast they call it dege. And you know what? In Ghana they call it bukena. It is a drink made with millet couscous, with yogurt and with milk. There are so many different ways of preparing bukena but my recipe is made with evaporated milk so you can either make it with evaporated milk or with fresh milk some people also add cream thick cream so it depends it depends on where you live where um you tasted it so i'm going to show you how i like mine and it is nice so as usual if you want to know how to prepare dege or chakri or bokena Please keep on watching this video as usual. Leave me likes, thumbs up. Keep on supporting your girl. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time for a different recipe. Until then, bye-bye. So my dear friends, this is how Burkina is usually sold in Ghana. In water bottles. So as usual, let's watch this video. And I'll see you very soon for a different Mrs. Jury recipe. To prepare burkina, you need millet couscous and it is called chakri. You need some boiling water. You also need some natural yogurt and I'm using Greek style yogurt. You need some vanilla essence. You need one cup or more sugar and I'm using one cup. You need some butter or margarine. You need a bit of milk powder, which is optional. And you need a can of evaporated milk or fresh milk. And of course, you need some nutmeg. And the most important, if you want to do it the Ghanaian way, you need some empty water bottles. So keep your bottles. Let's get started. In a container, add about 150 grams to 200 grams of millet couscous if you don't have millet couscous use the regular yellow couscous you can also do it with that one and then cover it with boiling water it is very important you use boiling water and make sure it is well covered next use a plate and cover it for about five minutes so guys this is how my millet couscous looks like after five minutes I'm going to give it a good stir and then I will cover it back with my plates and then I'll put it in the microwave for about three minutes. Okay, guys. This is my millet couscous after three minutes in the microwave and now it is well cooked and soft. The next step is very easy. Add a good tablespoon of margarine or butter to it and mix it mix it well and leave it to cool down aside we are now going to prepare our yogurt now add the yogurt into a different container i'm using greek style yogurt but you can use um, the normal one you can use the vanilla yogurt it really depends on you there are so many ways of preparing burkina but this is the basic one you'll find in ghana next Add two tablespoons of 
milk powder and it is also optional next add one or more cups of sugar add some vanilla essence and add about half a teaspoon of nutmeg now mix it whilst you add the can of evaporated milk or the fresh milk our yogurt is ready now and we can add in our millet couscous okay the next step is very easy make sure you mix it very well make sure the yogurt is mixed with the millet couscous okay and this is how it should be looking like and guys this is wonderful it is a wonderful dessert so how to keep it now as i said in ghana they keep it in water bottles so i'm gonna do it exactly the way they do it in ghana i'm gonna keep it in my water bottle using my funnel so make sure you have one okay dear friends so this is burkina dege chakri in my bottle make sure you keep it for minimum one hour in the fridge and enjoy it enjoy your burkina you love this recipe this dessert it is now very very popular in west africa okay so if you can't find millet couscous don't worry use regular yellow couscous the couscous we all eat okay but make sure you keep it in the fridge thank you for watching and see you next time leave me comments bye